Will the honourable member for Braddon? Deputy Speaker, in December of last year, analogue television was permanently switched off across our nation. It marked an end of an era for some, but the residents on the west coast of Tasmania, in my electorate of Braddon, it marked the end of reliable television services. Some might say the switch was a good thing, more channels to choose from, but it's not just about missing your favourite television show or missing the cricket or having no idea what a blockhead is. It's about treating people everywhere, no matter where they choose to live, fairly. Yes, the west coast of Tasmania is isolated, but why does this mean they should be forgotten? Would it be left so long, Mr Deputy Speaker, if it was Sydney or Melbourne? Uh, this just wouldn't be unacceptable, and I think it wouldn't be acceptable on the west coast of Tasmania either. The problem is, Deputy Speaker, due to the topography of my island home, the signal often clashes with the Victorian signal. So on a clear day, you can believe it's even worse. Surely this needs to be fixed. Enough is enough. Who is going to put up their hand to sort this mess out? Cathy Legg of Queenstown in my electorate has had enough. She sent me this petition, signed by 706 frustrated residents of the West Coast who want action. I would like the residents of the West Coast to know I'm listening. I'm taking action to ensure reliable television reception is returned to their area. Whilst this is not directly a federal government matter, I've written to all television stations seeking an explanation as to why residents are not having their concerns listened to, and I've sought a meeting with Free TV Australia. Deputy Speaker, I seek leave to table an out-of-order petition from 760 West Coast residents. Leave is granted. Thank you.